Today's Wednesday. Yeah. All right. Next Wednesday, there is uh, there's something called the Night of the Champions. Right. And it is the pub quiz of pub quizzes. You're going to enter that competition. Right. On your own. On my and own. Hopefully, do very well. You're going to compete for the prize. And we have between now and then for me to show you how to learn everything. <laughs> so you're covered. What? Everything, everything ever. Everything <laughs> ever. Pretty much. Now, take, take a seat for a second, because I know... Um, I know in saying this, it can sound very daunting. Yeah. And just to demonstrate to you how much better your memory is than you probably think it is at the moment, you leave work in the morning about 8 o'clock, is that right? Yeah. And you make the trip from your house to Gideon Station. Gideon, Gideon Park Station. There's a cash machine that's just on the outside of that station that you there walk is. past to get to the entrance, yes? Yeah. Now, do you remember walking past it yesterday? No. No? But you just remember you did it in the sense that you, 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 you know that you did it, but you wouldn't necessarily be able to recreate the scene. There was a woman. What was she wearing, do you remember? She was wearing a red coat. So that's one of us, I was part of the group that were watching you. The reason why we chose her and why she was dressed like that is so that she would form a, 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 like a marker in your mind. There'd be something, because I was hoping that you'd, you'd have a vague recollection of her. Right. However, if I said to you that up above the cash machine there was something different that isn't normally there, there was a sign that we'd put there with a word on. So if I asked you, no. you can't even remember the sign, let no. alone the word that was on it. Not all at right. all. If I said just try and remember what that said. But I can't say that I actually remember seeing something like that. So, uh, close your eyes. You're coming out of your house, out you're crossing house. over the road, you are a little bit flustered. Yeah. So just run that forward in your mind until you start to approach the train station. And just in your mind, just pan up. There's a word on the sign, and as you look at it, just let that come into focus. You're not trying to remember what it is, you're just letting a word come into focus. I keep, I, I strangely keep seeing the word shoe. Shoe? Yeah. Okay. What makes you say the word shoe? I don't know. What makes me say the word shoe? All right, fantastic. I want you to remember what that's like. We film Please it. Please don't be shoe. We film the whole thing. Take a look at this. This is going to really freak me out. Here you are. Do you remember this? No. Well, I don't remember that, yeah. They had no idea we were filming no. you? No. These are on very long lenses, so they're quite far away. Now it's going to cut forward to when you're approaching the station. So we've slowed this down. No, why? No, 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 no. no, how'd you do that? There she is. There that is. You didn't even look. What made you say it? I have no... How'd you do that? How did you do it? That's the point. When you tried to remember it, you couldn't. You put that effort into it, it just gets in the way. It stops it from happening. And what we're going to do with these books is the same thing. And the reason why I've shown you this as I want you to know that you can do this as effortlessly and all it takes is that not trying and trusting kind of what I'm going to ask you to do.